of Commons will sit from 12 p.m. tomorrow to allow MPs to pay tribute to the Queen in a session due to last until 10. Unusually, there will also be a sitting on Saturday when senior MPs will take the oath to King Charles III from 2 p.m. The Queen's extraordinary life of service saw her appoint 15 prime ministers spanning from Winston Churchill to Liz Truss, who was the first prime minister to have an audience with her at Balmoral just two days ago. And today, Liz Truss paid tribute to Her Majesty in a Downing Street address. We are all devastated by the news that we have just heard from Balmoral. The death of Her Majesty the Queen is a huge shock to the nation and to the world. Queen Elizabeth II was the rock on which modern Britain was built. Our country has grown and flourished under her reign. And I'm joined now by the esteemed journalist and broadcaster, Dame Jenny Murray. Jenny, how are you feeling? I, I, yeah. it, it never occurred to me that I would weep at the death of the Queen, but I thought, my goodness, we're never going to sing God Save the Queen again. And then, of course, I looked on my phone and it said the King and uh, obviously Camilla, the Queen Consort, will come to London tomorrow. And the profundity of, of what had changed when, you know, I was three when my dad, who was a, a television repairman at the time, um, we had the only television in the street. And so the entire street came to our house and we all sat around and we watched the coronation. I was three years old. So... I've never known a king. I've only known the queen, our queen. And it's, it's a real cultural shock that she's just not there anymore. How do you think the country's going to change, Ginny? I think there is going to be mourning. I don't think it's going to be dramatic and over the top in the way it was for Diana, because the Queen wasn't like that. You know, the Queen was calm and steady. I met her several times. You know, I was given the OBE by her. I was made a dame by her. I remember meeting her in the Woman's Art Studio in Broadcasting House when the whole place had been refurbished. And what I really admired about her was... She just got on with it. So, you know, you were ordered as you went in. OK, uh, you call her ma'am, not mom. She was very particular about that. But then, you know, this woman in her 80s, she would have been then, uh, would just stand there quietly, peacefully, and get on with it and greet every person who came in front of her to give them their award, whether it was an OBE or a CBE or a knighthood or a damehood, and she would have a word for every single person who came in front of her. Obviously, you know, there was somebody standing alongside her because there were lots and lots of people at those great events, uh, somebody reminding her who it was and what their background was. And I remember her saying to me, Oh, I used to love listening to Woman Da, but then it moved from the afternoon to the morning. And I'm so busy in the mornings, I now don't really get a chance to listen, which I was very sorry about. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 